So that's what you're taking to a car week. So let me get this right. We've gone from a 5999, five, nine, nine, nine. Nine. yeah, to yeah. a dually Dodge because someone's got to tow the cars, bro. Just joking. Come on. I got something else in here. So we are going to prolong right. yet another daily driven exotics build <laughs> okay. to make sure you have a vehicle to drive. <laughs> okay. Which one of the three is it? It's my manual Murcielago. This car has what I've begun oh, to install man. as a GT1 rear end, chassis mounted wing, GT1 tail lights, rear diffuser, basically FIA certified rain light into the back. But it was about to get the GT1 full front end put on, wide body. When you say about, like next week? Like it was gonna go in on the day that we left to go to Monterey, Monterey. Okay. and get this process started because it's quite in in invasive. So if anyone's following the Daily Driven Exotics channel and we're looking forward to the next phase of build, it's my fault that you're not gonna get this uh, as soon as you were expecting. They would have had no idea. What they would notice is I, Dave and I now have to come up with some other video to make. You've uh, <laughs> offered me your Senna when we came to the UK. I unfortunately got- The sickness. Yeah. So the cool thing about this is, is as you know so from coming here just a couple of days ago yeah mike's been working on this car because the motor for the windshield wiper burnt out while i was on another right. rally and somehow when i took this car to canada to do a charity rally for kids somehow the window fell off the regulator and the regular mangled okay. so this car was literally not going anywhere as of a 24 hours ago because if you can't roll the window up or down well, first of all, yeah, it's a huge security doing, issue. Yeah. Anybody could throw anything on inside this blue interior. Also, the, the AC wouldn't really work, which you're going to want. And also in Monterey, it gets cold, as you know. It does. So you might want to so actually put gonna, the windows up and turn the heat on. Yeah. Plus, we're going to get condensation on that window for sure. For mm -hmm. sure. Monterey sea mist. So I don't believe the windshield wiper is fixed. Okay, so we're just going to have to... So somehow, if it, you get that mist... I'm going to have to reach out of the, out of the window You're literally going to have to get... You, it. If Mike doesn't get it fixed on Monday yeah. or Tuesday morning... Then we'll you just wipe will it. want to stop somewhere and we will vlog this and you will buy probably a three foot long handle with a squeegee to squeegee the water off. <laughs> I kid you not. Speaking of which, you mentioned yeah. that there's so much glare from the blue in the, in the windscreen. Tons. That you have to wear polarized sunglasses. 100%. I'll in probably fact, be wearing I only, yours. I only travel with polarized sunglasses in this car. I have a pair of specific Ray-Bans. There's a reason why I bought these particular sunglasses. Is it actually that bad? You literally cannot see out. Yeah, so P is for polarized. But on top of all that, they are not your typical uh, Wayfair frame mm -hmm. that Ray-Ban Ray make. They're kind of rounded. And that's so that I can also wear them under a hat. Because if you get yeah. too square of a frame, it it, sit on your I, like, I like my brims curved. It doesn't sit under the brim. It pushes it up and that's annoying. So I, I spent a whole day finding these. I tried on 50 pairs of sunglasses. So they and are I literal on driving glasses. Yes. So I've never driven. They'll stay in the car for the record. Right? Dead serious. <sighs> I've never driven a Mercia Lago. Any? Any. Oh, wow. Yeah. I so well, th this is really exciting. So, so how, what's, the not, what's the unstandard bits on this from a driving experience? It's still the open gated manual. All, that's factory. Uh, then this is the 6.2, right? This is the correct non-LP yep. Mercy 6.2. Then 5. they came out with a 6.5 for the LP. Yeah. So it's at 570-ish horsepower-ish. Yeah, but like it's that. tuned by Gintani. Okay. Flame tune. Flame tune. Full straight pipe exhaust. Okay. Massive diffuser. Yeah. GT1 style. Like that is this design. Look at it. It's a what a block. This design is literally period correct to the race cars when they built them. It was just yeah. a metal diffuser mounted to the bottom part of the chassis. And this pipe, so this is a Gintani straight Gintani pipe. Gintani straight pipe exhaust. He designed this. He did three variations to get it to sound at the high pitch that it does. And then these are the I actual wait for that. Right, writer, I think they're called. Yes. It's a German company, Writer yeah. Engineering. Writer, yeah. This is one of the, this, when I bought these, this was the last set in stock of race tail ice I had. Seriously? And to put them in here, they don't fit. So you have to cut the frame of the light. 
Oh, no, get these to fit. fit. They're made for the car? No, they're made for the race car. Okay, okay, right, right. Okay. So are there any particular quirks to this car from like a driving characteristic? hundred percent. Come on. What are they? Steel brakes. The, the nuances specific to this car. Steel brakes. Steel brakes. And, and then no doubt first 10, 15 minutes, gearbox feels, feels a bit thick. Oh, gearbox feels like it's not happy. You have to gently drive it for about 10 minutes. And once it's warmed up, it's, it's just, just then bliss. it's fun. Yeah. But you also need to figure out how to slap it between the gates. I'm gonna sit in this thing. There's a technique to all of it. There's an art to it. Yes. I mean, this interior is bold. Nice thing oh. about my car versus like Dave's oh, squad. You actually have your ergonomics correct in the in your car. Yeah. <laughs> and if you want, you can sit up here, lean forward a bit. If you want, you can sit a little more straight oh, yeah, up. Nice. And you can bring the seat forward if you needed it. That's actually not far off. I can really see what you mean by about the glare now. Okay, so holy so, hell. So now throw those on. It's just blue. Now it's not. Isn't that weird? It's like an ND filter for your face. 100%. <laughs> it's bang on. So yeah, whenever you drive, wow, there's your wonderful. case. These just, I literally use this pocket right here by the park brake, Yeah. which is always a very unique thing about Mercia Lagos is one, you get in here and you want to reach for the seatbelt on this side, uh -huh. but they're but, in the center. But it's not, it's here. And you want to use the park brake. It's a fly off? Right, so that's on. Okay. And then it flops down. Yeah. And you have to pull and you it think up. And... It's, but you think it's off. So don't, you don't want to drive away. So no. you have to like, yeah, lift it up. Yeah. Start where it stops. Sure. And then pull put, it up just Pull beyond. it up just a bit. Push this in. Drop and down. then it should drop down. Right. Is there an immobilizer on this? There sure is. So the okay. easiest way to do this is yep. put the key in, turn the ignition on, but don't turn it over. And okay. you'll hear it beep all the way. And now hit the mobilizer once, the round button. Turns the beeping off. Yeah. So now you can turn it on, fire it up. It's pretty quiet when you first start it, but it'll warm up. Holy hell, dude. So the only way to drive this car yeah. is the sec so the, the few things. You get in, you make sure this is off. Yeah. You turn the key on, you turn the immobilizer off. If you want, you're more than welcome to take notes here. The first thing you do when you drive away yeah. is you reach over and see where it says TC, traction control, Yeah, you turn that off. You Just won't turn a corner and accelerate out of a corner at 10 miles an hour without it clicking on. Are you serious? Dead serious. So I've driven the Mercia Lago from day one with no TC. Every time I get in, I hit that button. Every time. You hit the button. It's, it's the equivalent as to the new G-Wagons. Yeah. Holding the button down for the lane departure yeah, assist so it doesn't yeah. grab you and grab chuck you. the G-Wagon over when you're anywhere near a line. Anybody with so, a G-Wagon knows what I'm talking TC about. TC off. Every time. This in, on but don't turn it over. Right. Button to, to take off the immobilizer. Yeah. Fly yeah. off handbrake. In fact, if you can, unless you're on a crazy hill, yeah. just leave it in gear. Don't even put this on. All right. The park brake. Like yeah. if you're in a flat spot. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. don't even bother. And then the last thing is, I'm, excited. I'm pumped. I want to go now. The last, well, we could go <laughs> it's for a quick awesome. drive. The, the last thing is, yeah. uh, don't touch any of the blue. Don't touch any of the blue. It's it's like you skinned a Smurf in here. Uh, what do you think? Do you know it's not not for this to sound how it's going to sound? There's not a lot of cars I haven't driven, and for all of them that I've experienced, I can't believe it's taken me until now to get into a Mercia Lago. It just keeps moving, but 
that's all right. Rip it, rip it, rip it. So this car is tuned. Pre-LP cars are, are different than the way that the ECUs are and everything. If you just rev, rev up to 5,000 RPM, You can't do that in. Really? I don't know why. They're just different ECUs, Alex told me. He's so like the two. Even as a manual LP. Even as a manual. Do it. My car and my previous manual and this manual, he's like, they're so different. And I was like, yeah, why does it do that? Oh, but it's it, gold, dude. Yeah. I love it already. There you go. That's on the throttle. Just on the throttle. Yeah. Isn't it? So if you get it up to 6,000 RPM, right? And then tap the throttle. Exhaust. 
Stop rev mad downshift is just epic, man. Right? It's so good. Yeah, I take a right on the line. Yeah, you're gonna have the exhaust. It's kind of essential, right? It's it's you buy the car, that's the first thing you do. It's the only time I would say you get wheels before anything. Or yeah. you get sorry, you get yeah. exhaust before wheels. wheels. Yeah. I'm dyslexic by the yeah. way. Alright, there you go. Ready? Yeah. Sunset, man. Destroy my mono wipers. I got soft mono wipers. See, it's getting buttery, right? That's bloody beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Like if the CGT drove like this at first gear, it'd be the perfect car. What do you think? I am um, straight to piston heads when I get back. I told you. <laughs> the cool thing is, I bet you one of these, a first gen manual in the UK, yeah. is probably like only a couple hundred grand. Where here, yeah. these are worth double. They're like this. Okay. I had to, I had to pay five hundred thousand Canadian for this. <laughs> I bought my LP four and a half years ago for 285 US. Now they're a million. They're a million now. A million for an LP manual. Jesus, man. That's bonkers. Yeah. I'm gonna regret saying this, but rev it in here. Don't plug your ears. You don't get to. If you want to drive this car, you can't plug your ears. Let's deal with it. Go. really nice what the steering wheel with no buttons on it just the steering wheel how cool is that i agree just a, just what it was made for you know yeah. steering <laughs> yeah just no distraction i love how everybody's like you didn't want to make the steering wheel blue i'm like do i look stupid dude, that dude thank you so much i cannot wait You're honestly welcome. cannot wait to spend some time with this thing you know when you spend time with it as well you begin to learn the nuances of what makes the thing tick you get comfortable with that it. i'm excited about that's yes. really really am. I'm excited for you to drive it. You're really the only person I trust driving. It's lovely. Thank you. Thanks so much. <laughs>